Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Crosby, President and CEO of Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium. Today, it's June 8th, and that means it's World Ocean Day. To celebrate, let's reflect on the past, highlight the present, and look towards a future of even greater innovation in science and community engagement for coral restoration. Moat opened its first facility in the Keys at Pigeon Key in 1993. And in May of 2017, we completed our spectacular new state-of-the-art Elizabeth Moore International Center for Coral Reef Research and Restoration on our Summerlin Key campus. In the last decade, we've outplanted over 78,000 fragments of coral in the Florida Keys, with over 90% of our coral fragments surviving to the key one-year mark. As we move towards the present, we know that the situation in Florida's coral reef is more dire than ever. A disease has spread through the entire Keys reef track, devastating our already stressed and endangered corals, and it's continued to spread into other areas of the Caribbean. In 2020, living coral cover on the Keys reef track has declined to as little as less than 5%. Despite these challenges, I am so proud of how our Moat family deploys innovative science to aggressively attack each new environmental challenge. We partner with nonprofit organizations, for profit businesses, local artists and breweries, dive shops and volunteer citizen science groups, the Moat family of supporters and members, and the entire community of the Florida Keys with one goal in mind, saving our coral reef track. Right now, we're holding over 1,600 genotypes of coral from 17 different species, one of the largest single collections of living coral genetic diversity in existence. Right now, Moat has created and is nurturing over 40,000 fragments of coral that are destined to be planted for restoring Florida's coral reef. And right now, we are celebrating the 10th birthday of our underwater coral nursery at Lou Key. And right now, most scientists are unlocking new discoveries about stony coral tissue loss disease. But we can and we must do much more. Our future and the future of our oceans depends on bold action to bring our rainforests of the sea back from the brink of functional extinction. So today, for World Oceans Day 2020, we are proudly announcing the addition of the first ever science-based coral restoration nursery in Isle Mirada at Bud and Mary's Marina. Our coral restoration expansion into Isle Mirada also includes a new partnership with I Care, a new coral citizen science-based organization. And as we look and think about what the future of coral restoration will look like, we are pleased to unveil an eco vault like no other, a Noah's Ark coral gene bank, hosting the most diverse collection of coral genomes that will be built at the 200-acre Moat Aquaculture Research Park in Sarasota. If the past has taught us anything, it's that we cannot do this alone. And as we look to the future, beyond 2020, I invite each of you to please join us as we continue to advance science-based coral restoration in the Florida Keys and all around the world. And on behalf of each of us at Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium. Happy World Oceans Day.